Hey, Donnie Smith here. In this video, I'm going to show you a cool effect that is very easy to do. And what we're doing is we're using a House of Color Marbleizer. First, you start out with a black base coat. You can use other colors for different effects, but black is the best. Uh, gives it the best uh, appearance. And you just spray a medium wet coat on. It uh, comes out of the can ready to spray. You don't reduce it or anything. Let it set for about 15, 20 seconds and then get something to put on top of it. Now I'm using plastic here. You can use saran wrap. This is plastic that we cover cars with. You can use paper, sponges, you know, whatever effect you're, you're going with. But I'm going to show you a couple right here. Let it dry for about 15, 20 seconds, and then I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to use my hand to kind of push this down. And notice that I wrap the, the plastic up tight to give it a bunch of wrinkles. You know, that kind of gives the effects of the, the veins in marble and gives it a really cool effect. So I push it down, I'm gonna lift it off, and that's one effect right there. And the second thing I'm gonna show you is just some paper. I don't like paper as well, but it does give a total different look. So I've wadded it up as well, to, you know, to give it some uh, wrinkles, and I'm unfolding it, and I'm gonna put push that on the surface. And you'll see the, kind of the different effects that you can make. So it's really limitless the different textures that you could go for. And I just recommend getting a test panel like this and, and trying different things and see what you like. It's a little bit harder to hold in place, but you push it down just like I did with the plastic. And then you'll lift it off. And with any of them, with the plastic or with the paper, if you see a spot that doesn't look like it got enough, you know, you can kind of push it down and change the texture. Uh, this is a slow drying product, so you got a little bit of time to work with it. So I'm just touching it up a little bit, and uh, and you're about to see what the different differences look like. Now this is just a test panel. Uh, we use it for different things, scuff it up, and you know shoot something different. So not really worried about the the quality, you know, finishing this. But it it does it you know it looks really cool. Look like you did something really hard. You can see the different textures. Now this is still wet. As this evaporates, you need to allow it to dry at least 30 minutes. But as this evaporates, it'll flatten out, and then you can clear coat on top of it. And it looks really cool. Um, again, I've never tried sponge, but that's something that you could try on a test panel. You know, paper, plastic, just whatever, you know. Uh, like I said, it's very simple. Anybody can do this, and it looks like you spent a lot of time and did something very difficult. And uh, we did do a car roof like this on a Camaro. And uh, you can also do multiple co coats. And on this Camaro, we did a coat and then sprayed it again with a medium wet coat and then put plastic on top of it again to get this effect. So uh, just, just an idea out there. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Uh, maybe you've seen it and thought, man, this would be real hard to do. Or maybe you knew how this was done. Either way, I mean, it is very simple. Uh, does not take any special techniques and, and uh, something that, that you could do. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure and give us a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you in the next video.